Adam, it's beginning a second day, CES 2017. Uh, some of the initial intensity is gone, but now it's time to look at who the survivors are, what's going on, and how big the battles are going to be in the future for the skies for both the hobby and commercial drone segment. And let's face it, you cannot possibly quantify any of that without three little initials, DJI. What is going on right now? Since CES has opened here, we've seen an awful lot of interest in the three new drones that we've introduced since the end of last year, covering the spectrum from personal to professional use. At one end, you have our Mavic Pro, which has generated so much interest because it folds down to a small size, it is full of features, it has the autonomous flight modes, the obstacle avoidance, and the kind of power and technical sophistication that you expect from DJI. Moving up, you have the Phantom 4 Pro, which is our Phantom 4 with redesigned camera system to have a larger one-inch sensor and a mechanical shutter so that photographers who are pushing the edges of what you can capture can really get into that point where you can pick out the detail of lava flowing from a volcano at sunset. And if you need to be able to capture that kind of intense photographic achievement, you can do that with the Phantom 4 Pro, which also has obstacle avoidance in the front and back, as well as infrared sensors on the side, so trying to expand the obstacle avoidance. And going up to the professional level, our Inspire 2, which is you know leading the class of professional drones, is generating an awful lot of interest from professional film and video producers because it's been redesigned with their interests in mind. We've listened to the feedback from the people who've come to rely on it, for live TV broadcasts, for shooting really high quality video. We've come up with a brand new camera for it, the X5S, which is good enough to shoot a feature film on. And the feature that everybody notices at first is the dual cameras going to the dual controls. Now, when an Inspire 2 is in the air, the pilot is looking, and his screen is looking through a new first person view camera mounted on the front of the drone. So as their job is steering it and moving it around and hitting your waypoints, hitting your marks on a film shoot, they can get the precise visual information they need, while the other camera operator using the other controller is able to see the view strictly through the camera recording the video. They can pay very close attention to things like composition and exposure information that you need to make that image look beautiful without having to worry about displaying an image that the pilot needs. So it's you know an awful lot of innovation packed into all three of these new products here. We're really excited about them and the crowds here are receptive to them as well. Well, you've definitely boxed everybody in. You've got something for everybody at this stage of the game. Do you expect the consumer market to, to continue to be as strong as it's been? Yeah, you know, one of the ways that we're trying to broaden and enhance our appeal in the consumer market is to make it easier and safer to fly our drones. You know, hobbyists who are into flying for the sake of flying, they've been flying for a few years already. But for people who want to have something with them that they can use without thinking to capture what's going on in their lives, record their family, record their adventures with their friends. Something like the Mavic Pro is designed with that kind of ease of use in mind. You know, you can compare it to traditional photography. 30 years ago, if you wanted to get into photography, you needed to know an awful lot about f-stops and think a lot about lenses, and you might need a home darkroom as well. Whereas now, you can pick up any point and shoot, and you're seeing a similar parallel with drones. That for people who think it would be cool to get an overhead view of their day at the park with their friends, five, ten years ago, it would have required carrying a bulky case around and doing a lot of prep work. Now, we have something that literally fits in your backpack. You can take it out, set it up, and be up in the air within a minute when you need it. And what's interesting is we're seeing the same kind of trend in the enterprise market as well. People who want to use drones for professional purposes, uh, perhaps you're a, a surveyor, perhaps you're a construction firm, perhaps you're a farmer. If you saw potential to use drones in your work to be able to operate more efficiently, lower cost, faster, more safe, Five years ago, you needed a lot of technical knowledge. Now, we have an entire ecosystem built around our drones for enterprise use, where software companies are coming up with apps to automate a lot of the functionality. Our products are getting easier to use than ever. I think 2017 is the year that businesses where drones make sense in their workflow, they're running out of excuses not to start using drones in their workflow. We had a big enterprise developers conference in San Francisco recently, and one of the companies displaying there is focused on improving yields in vineyards, and they have come up with programs to make sure that they're shooting the crops from the right angle so that you can get almost to the individual grape level because you know it's not enough to fly over a row you need to be able to get close enough in between a row to see down there so those are the kinds of examples of how people aren't just saying wow a drone could be cool people are saying here are workable practical solutions you can use now to get the data you need you know drones are increasingly a method for capturing for gathering data and for figuring out what's the best way to store it for the most efficient management to build it into your workflows.
Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com.